Hey guys, it's Prodigy Bats Pirate here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best pet to catch in Prodigy. You can literally use this pet for anything in Prodigy, and it's called a hot pot. It could be your arena pet, or it could be your buddy. I mean, not your buddy, like a pet you could use like while you're fight fighting a really strong monster or a boss. Yeah, this is the first pet I'm going to be showing you. And then the next pet I'm going to be showing you is a not is a member pet, which is even better. But I'm first going to be showing you the non-member pets for non-member people who really want to become powerful at this game. And for this, you're going to have to go to Bonfire Spire. So then, to find this pet, you're going to have to go down over here to Volcanic Cavern. Obviously, you're going to want to catch it because it's really good. And then after a little while, I'll be explaining why this pet is very powerful when I come back. Okay, the thing is that this pet is very powerful for one reason. Well, before I tell you that reason, you don't get bored, I'm just going to show you where that pet is. So it will appear in, in this Volcanic Junction setting, um, section in Bonfire Star Spire over here when you go down there, either here or if you go to the right, or it will appear here in this place called Lava Pits. If it does not spawn, you can refresh the page. And then when it sees it, when you see it, you can go battle it and then you can catch it afterwards. So yeah, let me explain to you why this pet is very powerful. Well, the thing is that, um, first of all, a hot pot is a fire type. And fire types are literally the best type in Prodigy, literally in my opinion. So, when you're getting, when you have a fire type, they're powerful in two elements, both, um, leaf and snow. As you can see, its power is A, its life is A, but its growth is F-, minus. but the growth does not matter. That's the thing. So it doesn't matter if the growth is bad or good. Another thing is that it can do fire spells and storm spells at the exact same time. Which is really good. So, you know, okay, so let me explain to you why this part is good. So, you know how um, water, spe water spells are powerful on fire spells, and fire spells are weak on water spells, right? Well, if you have a water pet, and then it will just keep destroying the hot pot. Well, the thing is that storm spells, which a hot pot also does, is powerful on water spells. So, you could use them, you could be powerful against the water pets, which are powerful against the fire pets, which makes it good so that you. Both pets can die equally at the exact same time, which is very good, by the way. By the way, if you want to catch a very good pet at a very high level, you can watch my other video for this. Or the thing to trick is, is that you just take out all your pets, and then when you go to battle, you will battle a very high level pet. That is literally the trick. This is the another trick for that. I made a video on that, but I just wanted to include in the seat. Level 100. Exact same. It's pretty cool. Alright, now I'm going to be showing you the second pets. I really wanted to show you that I really wanted... Yeah, I just wanted to show you this pet. And it's called a Quashtor. This is for members. This pet is only for members. So if you're not a member, you better get out of here and say goodbye. So this is called a Quashtor. It is the evolved version of a... What is it called? Pocket. Yeah, Pocket. And it does a better spells. I'll be showing you why when I find it. So what you want to do is you want to first... You want to go to Shipwreck Shore. You want to go to the right over here where I'm standing right now, which I went before. And then you want to go up these stairs. I'll be coming back when I do that to show you where it is. I'm explaining why it's good. So now, like I said before, you want to go up here, up this bridge, past the toy merchant. Well, I didn't say this before. Whatever. You go to this place called Desolate Deck. And you'll go, now you go to this place you never go, have been before. So, I'll, I'll, when always you go on the missions, you always go up here where my cursor is pointing. But you have to now go left, because the claustro will be hiding somewhere over here. After I battle this trickle, you have to go left, and then, a, then, then you will be able to battle a claustro, which will be appearing right there. Alright? Alright, so you go up right to the left right here, it's a secret shore. And there are places you could check out down here where this whirlpool is. I think there's a member chest. And then you'll see this guy right here. Alright. So this guy's name is Pocket. Which is the unevolved version of Claustro. Up, unapparently. But like I said before with the um other guy. You can keep refreshing the page. Refresh the page until it spawns into a Claustro. And you can look like... It, it, it would look like a Claustro. You would 
you would know it looks different. So it's, it will be already evolved when you catch it. The thing is that when you catch a clock stroke, when you catch a pocket and you evolve it to a claustro, it won't wear the same spells, which is the key thing that's different from a pocket and claustro. That's why I want you to catch a claustro. So it will be automatically evolved, which is cool that you can catch evolved pets. And that's only very few for very pets. Refresh the page and it'll spawn differently. Now let me explain to you why this member pet called a claustro is literally the best pet in Prodigy for members. Okay, obviously epics, but I don't know, whatever. Okay, so you I think you already spotted the literally this obvious thing. It has so much health. Did you, didn't you realize that? Yeah, it has like it had 580 health right now. When that new update I just got, it's it's not 560. So now in 500 it has 580 health at level 100. So the power is C minus, but that doesn't matter. The white A plus. But I I think they should rate this higher. Like, and I disagree with this. Yeah. So the thing is, the life is A+, plus, that, which is like the best in Prodigy. Yeah, that's so cool. And then the power. The power, it, the, ma the, the best spell, it can do water types and earth types. So the thing is that, so the um, Claustro's weakness, since it's an earth type, it's a fire type, which is hot, like hot pot. That's not what I'm trying to relate here. Um, and obviously the growth, which is B- doesn't matter. So, since it's the uh, fire type, the pool of the- what's the powerful thing on fire? Which is water. Well, Aquastral does earth and water spells, and the water spell it does is Angel's Fountain, which is the most powerful water spell, which can easily, um, like, attack, um, a, a fire pit, which because it's- because water is powerful on fire, that uh, is the thing. It's better than Pocket, because Pocket can only do geysers, and it can do Blitz. But this guy, it can do Earth Sprite, which is, eh, it's fine. If you wanna, it's not like you're in battle with Water Pet, you can keep using that. Or if you're battling a Fire Pet, you can use Angel's Hunter. These are literally the two pets, I'm gonna say, you have to get in Prodigy. Whether you're battling the Arena, or you could put it in for your Wizard, or something like that. I don't know. So these two pets, Hotspot. Claustro, and that is what you have to get. So goodbye, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for other tutorials that actually help. Yeah, help. Okay, yeah. What was that? I don't know why I was doing. That was just kind of weird. Yeah. So um, yeah. You, you just have to subscribe to my channel if you want other tutorials. I also make new update videos. You could suggest any funny prodigy videos I make. In the comments down below or the discussion page, you also could suggest me tutorials that I want you could want me to make. If you want a battling project, you could post it down below. And I'm saying so much stuff, so you better say goodbye.